The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. This is episode 130 yes. of the Pope on Film podcast. We have done 129 episodes that has led us to this big, historic, historic podcast. And, you know, we here at the Pope on Film podcast realize that, you know, we've done 130 episodes, and that's a lot of episodes, and that's not including the special editions, the audio commentary tracks we've released, the spinoffs, yes. like um, like uh, Bell and Jean's Break Time Hijinks, uh, Eleanor spinoff, Eleanor Screams at Adults, or uh, Maxwell spinoff, Guess What I'm Saying. Yes. <laughs> so we realize that that there is a possibility, however likeness, that the rebels may find a weakness to the Death Star and destroy it. Yes. There's also a possibility, however unlikely, that you may not have heard the 129 episodes that have led to this episode. And oh, man, we are very much a serialized podcast. Yes. Uh, so we don't want you to be right here in the beginning listening to episode 30 and be completely lost with all of our characters and our, our drama and our, our, you know, our, our plot lines. So that's why we like to start off every episode of the Pope on film podcast with a previously on just like, I don't know, supernatural. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, previously on the Pope on film, it was another Hot and steamy week at Mercy Faith General Hospital. The reckless Dr. Dream Hunk saved the life of a runaway teen by once again defying orders. Yep. Then, Dr. Dream Hunk made out with, with Nurse Chang in the supply closet. He's a Ugh. surgeon That's on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dr. Pills are good, fell off the wagon and started popping pills again. Did not see that coming. I really thought that Dr. Pills are good had stopped doing pills for good. <laughs> but I was wrong about that. I could, I could, no one could have expected that from Dr. Pills are good. While the entire staff of Mercy Faith welcomed visiting practitioner Dr. Guestar, played by... <laughs> Played by sports legend Mia Ham. What? How did they get that? Jesus, Eleanor, I'll get you more noodles. Calm down. Mia Ham, how did they land that casting coup? I got to imagine that Mia Ham is super busy with whatever it is Mia Ham does. <laughs> I'm assuming soccer, but. I feel that, that soccer is right, but I also feel that if I'm wrong, I'm being sexist. I'm giving you noodles. You have a bunch of noodles on your plate. Do you see the noodles? There you go. Okay. Get your Is your head in the game, Eleanor? Okay, so you don't want the noodles. Why are you giving me back the noodles? I don't want a handful of noodles. What are you doing? So are you done eating? Is, is this your way of putting a gross food on my hand? Is your way of telling me that you're done? Okay, okay, okay. No, now you want it back. Okay, yeah, okay. Basically, babies are, are, are all Dory. Yes. Eleanor does this a lot. She's like, Dad, I don't want this food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spit out this food. I'm going to throw it on the floor. Ooh, look, there's food on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to eat it. Ooh, I don't like this. I'm going to spit it out. Mr. It out Mom. My hand. Ooh, look, what's in my hand? It's food. Thanks, whoever gave this to me. Um, the Mr. Mom movie with uh, yeah. with Michael Keaton. Oh my God, I love that movie because it was so real. Multiplicity. No, Mr. Mom. Birdland. Mr. Mom. Birdman. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Mr. Mom. <laughs> no, and he asks the son if he wants juice, and the boy and the little boy says, "No, I don't want juice." He goes, "Yes, I do." No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Hey, That's I had a whole day dealing with more than one one-year-old. So, hey, cut me some slack. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. You know how it is. 
So previously on the Pope on Film, the episode featured a slap, a hot and steamy sex scene, <laughs> gossip. You have noodles. There are noodles on your plate. I'm not giving you more noodles. You have noodles. And the episode ended with a violent gang member holding the entire hospital hostage. So a typical day at a normal hospital. Yes. Just a typical day at any normal hospital in America. What will happen this week with the team of Mercy Faith General? Tune in to the Popon film. <laughs> that's basically every... That, that's That's... Yeah. No. I miss ER. ER? I miss ER. I miss ER, or as I like to call it, <laughs> that's that's what the title spelled. Like the like the show needed WD forty, basically. Yeah. I really I really like Maxwell. If you need to go potty, go potty. Don't do that dance. If you need to go potty, go potty. Go potty. Go potty. I keep telling you, listen to your body. Keeps yelling at you, and you need to listen. I'm getting like a dad award today, is or I should. <laughs> if they if they have like a awards for dadding, I am I would not get, sure. Yeah, I would get a dad award. <laughs>